Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use and create the so-called Windows 10 God Mode. So stay tuned and buckle up and let's get going at this. So to start, you're going to want to copy the piece of code that I have linked into the description below. And then you're going to want to come to your main desktop here and then right click and then go to new and then go to a new folder. And then you're going to take this and rename this folder to that piece of code that I copied into the description. So you're going to want to go and copy that, make a new folder on the desktop and then copy that code into the rename file on the desktop here. And then just press enter. And then you're going to be, then you're going to have this icon here, which if you go and double click on this icon, you have all kinds of Windows tools that you can use to change and edit your system which goes above and beyond any sort of settings that you'd be able to access from the normal settings menu. So you have a lot of administration tools here, autoplay tools for like when you put a CD in or when you plug your USB in or something like that. You have backup and restore settings here. Um, BitLocker, which would be if you want to store your passwords and encrypt any uh, sort of data that you want to um, not have someone steal your computer and then lose that information, so some sensitive information. You're going to change your advanced color management settings, and in order to get to some of these settings, you have to go through the control panel that is built into Windows, and that would take you through multiple steps to try to get there. Through this God mode, and it says God mode right up here where you're um, file track is and it just puts all these settings in a nice order and it's easy to access everything and it's just a lot easier to manage your system and as we go down here there's probably hundreds of different things that you can do you can add different time zone clocks you can change your time zone um, you can add specific Bluetooth devices and devices here. You can accommodate your learning disabilities if you have any. Low vision settings, narration. You can change how your keyboard works just by clicking these. So if I, for instance, go, I want to change my keyboard. So I double click on that and then it would pull up all my keyboard settings just like that without having to scroll through all these different tabs and and file paths that just makes it it just makes it so much easier to get to everything with the God mode file toolbar here. And as we go down, you can see there's hundreds of different settings and things that you can do to make your life easier instead of having to go through windows and doors and hoops and to try to get to where you need to be. You can change search options for files and folders. You can show hidden folders, specify single or double click to open options, restore your files with file history. You can block or allow pop-ups. This are all in your, for your internet browsing. You can change your keyboard settings like cursor blink rate and keyboard status. You can change your mouse settings network and sharing center settings. Uh, you can set up uh, dialing rules, which I mean, no one's really gonna use that too much anymore unless you have like some dedicated system. Um, you can change your power settings, programs and features settings here. You can change your re region settings remote desktop connections, security settings, sound, speech recognition, and then you have all your system settings here, like resource usage, 
work groups, how much RAM is on this computer. So if I go here, I can see how much RAM I have on my computer. And right here is 32 gigabytes. So I have a Ryzen 5 3600, 4.2 gigahertz. Um, you can go to your task manager right here. You can pull up everything that you're doing on it. CPU settings, memory settings, pretty much everything. Wi-Fi, Ethernet, graphics card. Advanced system settings right here. And many, many more. So if you want to do this, then all you have to do is copy the piece of code that I have linked it down in the description below, and then create a new file on your desktop right here, or a new folder, and then rename that folder to that bit of code that I copied down in the description. And then after that, you can go through any settings that you want to go through, and then you can change your system to whatever you need to do so and then you'll have this file here or this icon here so after after you make the file and change any settings then you're going to want to go down right below this video and click on the subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on and please remember to like the video at the end and thanks for watching and i hope you all have a great day and peace out